Hello friends, hope you all are doing great. So today we will see what are aggregate functions and what is group by statement. So what is aggregate function is a kind of function which perform a calculation on a set of value and return a single value as an output. Few of these aggregate function examples are sum, count, main, max, avg and we have many more aggregate functions which are not commonly used but I will provide a link in my description so you can go to Microsoft website and can get the complete list of aggregate function. Mainly we will be discussing today about these aggregate functions. These are the functions every developer use it very frequently in their day to day writing SQL statements. So first we see some examples of aggregate functions. Go to SQL server. Here I will be using my AdventureWorks DW database as I have already explained in my previous tutorials that this is a Microsoft provided database and this is a sample one which anybody can download and install on their local machine so I will provide a link from there you can download and use it for your learning purpose so as we have many tables in this database but mainly we will use dim employee table for our today's tutorial we will go to our AdventureWorks database and then let's see what this employee table has table name is dim employee this table has total 296 employee records the first column is employee key then main columns are first name employee name high date birth date their base rate and then department their marital status salary to flag gender okay now let's say i want to calculate the total employee number calculate total employee number so what will be the query here select and then we will use aggregate function count and asterisk now asterisk stand for all columns and we are counting all columns from employee table so what we are going to tell SQL server that count all columns from team employee table now this count function will take a set of all rows from this table and will return us a single value which is the total count let's see the outcome of this query count. so total number of rows in this table which where each row represent a single employee detail is 296 go back to the table again now this time i want to sum up the value of total base rates so base rate of each employee is given in this table i want to calculate the total base rate so i will write select this time i will use sum function and then base rate from dim employee now this statement will calculate the total base rate from this table let's see the example so 5478 is the value of sum function in a similar way if we want to get the average of base rate then we will use average function so the average value is 18 point something we have another aggregate functions like mean and max let's say mean base rate from and max base rate from the employee so first we will see minimum base rate which is 9 and the maximum base rate is 125 we can also use all aggregate functions in single select statement like this way here we are counting all rows from this table and in other aggregate functions 
base rate as a numerical value that's calculate So this is the output the total row count in this table is 296 and the sum of total base rate value is 5478 the average value for base rate is 18 the minimum rate is 9 and the maximum base rate is 125 now there is a special case for count aggregate function that count ignores the null values let me show you the example count with null function count function with null so counting a column which has null value may produce a different result set let me show you in the example we will see the interim employee table again and you can see in this table there are few columns which has null values like middle name and end date few employees have no end dates let's say if we count the end date of this table count date Select this, execute. You can see the out of 296 employees, there are only six employees which has end date. Otherwise, rest of all employee has null end date. So it means count ignores the counting of null values. It counts only the values from that column where the value is not null. So this is all about the aggregate function. Now let's see what is group by statement. So group by statement used to group identical data with the help of aggregate values. How it works and what is the syntax for writing group by statement is very simple. Select column name then group by function from table name group by column name. Now here group by function could be anything like count, sum, mean, max, average. Now we will see in the example. Now we will go back to the employee table again to just have a look. Now let's say we want to count employees number based on gender then we need to use group by statement. Let's see in this example select gender. Now as we are aggregating the value so we need to use gender column with group by statement. Now we can see in the output. Now count aggregation function has produced output based on the grouping of gender. We can see female is 87 and male numbers are 209. In a similar way we can apply other aggregate functions also. Let me copy this from the example. We can make column headings more meaningful by putting LR with every functions like this. Now column name is also meaningful this time. So this is all for this tutorial. I will come again with uh, new videos on SQL Server. Till then keep smiling, stay blessed and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.